Hey Star Shine, how are you? I'm TK, and today I will play more Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, I said that really fast. Not sure if that was a good idea. Uh, in the last episode, we did things. We had tea and chocolate with Yuri and... Wait, was that last episode? Last episode we went into the hall to get stuff for tea. So yeah, that was the same. And then I think Monica... Monica! Got between us, how dare you? Anyway, <laughs> let's let's get going. <clears throat> oh gosh, I don't know why. Hers seems to be the hardest for me to get, mostly because I feel like I'm not changing my voice too much, aside from like high higher pitch than my natural tone and like a little softer, but okay, anyway. I have something extra planned today. So if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. Uh, we'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of gaining any new members. Uh, that's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Me neither, Yuri. Uh, don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Saturday has been working on posters and I've designed, I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually gonna be doing for the event. Ah, uh, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Whoa, 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 wait. Ooh, ugh, sorry. I'm drinking- I'm drinking Diet Coke right now, so I- I- <laughs> Little bit of bubbles. I'm sorry. <laughs> if I burp, I'm so sorry. But performing? Performing? I would not ski here. <laughs> but, uh, Monica? Monica? I- I keep forgetting how to say your name. Yeah, we're gonna be having a poetry performance. Oh, gosh. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. I hope it's not our poem. I hope we can choose someone else's poem. At least. I mean, like... You know... Frost or Blake or something like that. You know, not, not one of the club members' poems. Because that would be embarrassing for everyone. <laughs> okay. But, but the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up, up, uh, come up and recite poems, too. Saturday's putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> Saturday, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, you didn't already start putting these posters up, did you? Huh? Well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no, it's not a bad idea, but I didn't sign up for this, you know? There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys! No, Sayuri, I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared the poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. So you do also expect them to share their poems with a big group of people. Uh, yeah, you do! It's a lot to ask them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. Yeah, you do! I mean, also, this is a literature club. I mean, it just makes more sense than to write... I mean, not write, to, to read... Um, a more famous poet's works rather than your own, you know? For a literature club, not a writing club or a poetry club like that, you know? You know what I mean? I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, I'm sorry. Mm. But, I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be about uh, we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! 
It's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Mm. Uh. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Saori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I, I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Saori and Monika have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Uh, it looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Oh. Okay, fine. I, I guess I'll just have to get it over with. <laughs> Alright! Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Mm. Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. <sighs> I, I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone! You're the best, Yuri! This club is seriously going to be the death of me. <laughs> oh gosh, you'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to, to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No, 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 no way! Monica! This is too sudden! Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Uh, oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now, let's see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah! Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. <laughs> oh my gosh! By the way, I have like two poems. I've only written two poems in my entire life according to this game. So you expect me to just pick one of them. Huh? Huh? She then stands at the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. <clears throat> Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the, whole, the, the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Saori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica vi finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That, that was so good, Monica! <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayuri? Uh, I'll go next. Wah! Yuri's all fired up all of a sudden! Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri! It's... it's called... After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reciting the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happened happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she en enunciates with perfect timing. I don't enunci enunciate. En mm. I'm gonna just walk away from that comment. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she's bewildered, even herself. I... It's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start applauding. 
Everyone joins me afterwards and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Mm -mm. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. Saori hops up uh, out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. And this one is called My Meadow. <laughs> er, ah, sorry, she just said ah. Uh. <laughs> sorry, I giggled. <laughs> that was, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Saori. It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah, uh, it's not to th it's <laughs> try not to think of it like you're re you're reciting to other people imagine you're reciting it to yourself like in front of a mirror or in your own head it's your poem so it'll come out the best that way i see i see okay then saudi begins her poem somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect was made as a perfect match the poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Saori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Saori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Saori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Saori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Saori. <laughs> even DK liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Saori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. It might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's... Well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> then next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenge you, challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know? Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? <laughs> Don't make me go before TK. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let TK lower everyone else's standards a little before I have to do it. Burn! Nonski! It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. <laughs> Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. <laughs> mm, I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I received applause anyway. Uh, sorry I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Well, maybe. All right, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. <sighs> the poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Uh, because you're presenting. <laughs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't ba so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Uh, well, do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. 
I can put on whatever face I want for all other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case... Actually, I kind of agree. I kind of agree with Natsuki. I have a much easier time doing public speaking in front of a bunch of strangers than I do talking, like... Uh, when I took when I took a speech class because I it was required for my college, I think it's required a lot of colleges. Um, it was honestly way easier for me to do speeches in front of a class than to like practice in front of family members and friends. I don't know. I I, I feel then it's it's a little more likely that they'll be like you know affected by it or their a vision of me would be changed while it's a bunch of strangers it's like well i'll probably never see them again so it doesn't matter <laughs> you won't have to worry about you won't have to gosh you won't have much to worry about for the festival that said i want to thank everyone for coming through it might be hard but i hope you all have an idea of what it's like now Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez, I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. Ne now you say that. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to finish, uh, find the same enthusiasm as Saturday and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Why? Why impressing Monica? Yuri's your girl. You want to impress her. <sighs> Sorry, I took a sip. <laughs> Ready to go, Saturday? <laughs> yep. Looks like you two are always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh... How am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, TK. You don't have to say it. Oh, whatever. Let's go already. I walk home with Sayuri once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayuri is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayuri. Uh, uh, sorry, I was spacing out. Uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I mean... Sayuri fumbles with her words. So, let's just say one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> well, oh crap. Save. Okay, um... I would walk home with Yuri. I am so sorry, Sayuri. But... I, I, I love Yuri. She, she will be mine. <laughs> I would walk home with Yuri. Uh, walking home with Yuri, huh? What does that thought of- why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean, given how hard it is for her to socialize, I would feel awful turning her down, so... Isn't she so beautiful and smart? That has nothing to do with what I just said! <laughs> you admitted it! Jeez. There's not even any point in speculating something that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. It's not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Need you? Sorry. I can't figure out what you're s what, how you're seeing things in your head right now. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone is different. 
Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. <laughs> mm. Ow. Mm -hmm. If you say so. The conversation trails off and I'm I'm left feeling quite awkward. I mean, that was a... Ugh, that didn't seem very good. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. I can't just lie to her. But if there's something that makes her happy, I would hate to take that away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time. Alright, let's write the best poem ever. I'm gonna pop another save. We have, we have plenty of safe spaces to take up. Um, so one thing I noticed is her poem for today had crimson in it. And I knew that was one of the words I had pointed out before as n I wasn't sure who that would account for. But I think it would work for Yuri then. And maybe then, it'll, you know, it, I took inspiration from your poem again. Anyway. Um... Philosophy. I know she likes that. Horror. I like, well, mm, unrestrained. Let's go with that. Ooh, infallible. Um, crimson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. I was hoping we'd get crimson. I look lollipop. Next to candy. And sugar. Wow. Um, electricity. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, infinite. Ooh, Rowan's also pretty cool, but let's go infinite. Um, universe. Um, <laughs> pleasure or, oh crap. I know how to say this word. I know how to say this word. <laughs> I don't know how to say this word. <laughs> no! Oh. By the way, I looked up. I still. I looked up the word that I struggled with twice now. And even though I looked it up and I listened to it being pronounced and all of that, I still struggle with it. I don't know why. I think I expect it to sound differently than I think it does, but it actually does. And so then it just trips me up. Uh, but I need to not spend so much. I'm gonna go with it. I don't know how to say it though. F F F legit. No, I don't. Gosh, I feel so bad. Ooh, chocolate. Cage. Oh, the the bird or the cage. I actually like the cage better than the bird. The bird's like a dead bird. So, I'm sorry. I'm talking about Bioshock Infinite. So, probably doesn't make sense to some of you. Wrath. Memories. Oh! Saturday likes that. <gasps> Intellectual. <gasps> mm, my hiccups are so bad. I'm sorry, it's because I'm drinking soda. <gasps> Vivacious. Massacre. Like I said, I, I, I don't... It sounds horrible, but this massacre is just such a cool sounding word to me. Frightening. Mmm... Ambient. That's a good word. I love headphones, but I, that's probably not going to be Yuri. I would I would assume Sayuri. Um, fantasy. No, Sayuri likes fantasy. Precious. Oh, Sayuri likes precious too. Um, tenacious. Contamination. Starscape. Heck yeah. Um. Prayer. Saturday likes prayer. Okay. Um. Vitality. Oh yeah. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry. I I just walked into. Were you practicing the piano again? <coughs> oh wow. <laughs> what happened to my throat? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up the piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. 
Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. <laughs> I can't wait for the festival! It's gonna be great! Huh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we just get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. I was gonna bring up the food. I was go I was totally gonna bring up the food. That was the first thing that came to mind. That says a lot about me. <laughs> no, I was like, I was just talking about I was just talking with Amps recently. Um, about, you know, you know how in a lot of dating sims, this one doesn't seem like it's going to be, but the dating sims that aren't strictly visual novels, the ones where you can actually do activities and collect items or buy items that you can gift to, uh, the person you're interested in. And we were talking about that and we were trying to figure out what it is that if, if, if I, if, if we were, um, characters in dating sims, what gifts would up our love meter? And I'm like, food. Definitely food. <laughs> I'm like, I can't think of anything else but food. <laughs> that says a lot about me. Oh. oh. Okay, anyway. You sound a bit like Saturday all of a sudden. Monica, don't they usually have f fried squid? Mmm. Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You, of all people? Uh, I, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you, of all people? Because! It's right in your name. <laughs> Wait, what? Mon Ika? Eh? That, that's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't. I... I don't know. Eh? Uh, uh, never mind. I'm just breaking the fourth wall again. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Saturday's anyway. You just break the fourth wall and confuse us. Uh, excuse me. Where is Saori anyway? Oh, there you are. Saori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, uh, <gasps> oh no, this makes me worried. Is it because I said I would walk home with Yuri and not you? Hey, Saori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Uh, uh, uh sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh. Is everything alright? Uh, of course! Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Saori shows me a big smile. Oh no, I'm remembering all the sad words she seemed happy about when I picked the poem. Oh no. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe I should have said I'd keep walking with her. I mean, Yudi would never find out, right? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, okay. Relax. Just keep going. It's fine. I want to help you, Saudi, okay? Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright, if you say so. I worriedly glanced at Saudi before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation is already dispersed, and everyone's back at their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monika if she's noticed anything about Sayuri recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monika, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. TK, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayuri recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast lately. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. 
Monica peers across the room at Saturday, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, TK. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me, too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, so, you know. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Huh? Are, are you sure about that? You seem like she wanted to- uh, she seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are- are you sure? Maybe she just had a hard time bringing it up with the person of- with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, TK. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Saturday talks about you more than anything else, you know? Huh? She's been so much happier ever since she joined the club. It's like an extra light has turned on inside of her. What? No way. Saturday is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, TK. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful because that's how she is when she's around you? Mm. Uh, I I've said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words on my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Saturday is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Saturday and gently talk to her. But she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayuri told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else. But that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Judy peering at me from over her book. But she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize that she won't get anywhere like this. I've never seen- I've, I, I've never really seen Judy approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So, I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up from my desk and sit in one next to her. Uh, I, I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't really even do anything. But I could tell you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Uh, alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell what, that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. N n not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only- are <laughs> Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share that concern. Of course, there are certain, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's, it's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayuri. Uh, Sayuri? Yeah, she seems a little off today. But when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh? That's quite romantic. Eh? 
S sorry I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that. I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Saturday and I have just been friends for a long time, that's all. Oh, I, I see. Then perhaps it's unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little too much. TK, the world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Uh, so you think there might be something behind it after all? Hmm. I think that Saruti is a very complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today too. And I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayuri, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh, I, I guess, but you don't need to put it that way. We're just good friends, that's all. Uh, Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Oh no, intense eye contact. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she was searching for something. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. No, keep staring! Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. That is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Uh, uh, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. Anyway, as long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it, yeah, 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 yeah. I should, I should be... <laughs> what? I stumbled a little too much on that. We should be... Ugh, gosh! I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Okay, I think on that note, I should probably end the episode here. So, on dot dot dot. So, until next time, remember to shine your light in every world. Bye!